What's going on guys? Uh, today's video pertains to a guide on beating the wilderness boss uh, Vedion slash Calviron. Um, this location is for Vedion, which the mechanics are pretty similar for its uh, smaller dumbed down version. So for the gear, you want some uh, prayer bonus gear or you want black dehyde. Um, my account, I'm like in between. I'm not quite a Zerker yet, but I'm in between like doing other things. So basically my setup is just monk robes. Um, I have my cell vami. Um, I have a chain mace, regen bracelet, just climbing boots, uh, unholy book for prayer bonus, and I just have a hat. Like basically I'm going and dying and not really losing anything. But uh, I just stopped wearing the black dehyde because I mainly just was getting PK'd anyway. So I just, you know, if I'm going to get PK'd, I'm going to get PK'd. If, you know, you don't leave the caves when you have, you know, 500k worth of loot or plus, then, you know, if you die, it's your own stupidity. So gauge your own, uh, your own opinion for when you want to leave and when you want to stay. Because uh, sometimes I stay and get four or five or six or more kills. But anyways, this is my inventory, sharks, stamina pots, super combat, um, I got a rev cave teleport, that's for our uh, travel there, and um, yeah, my stats, they're not that great, but I still kill it pretty quickly, and um, obviously if you have higher attack, you can go with the um, Urzine uh, chain mace, which will hit harder. And if you can't have a Vigor's Chain Mace, you can also use a Surachin's Cudgel or weapons that have Crush Bonus. So, you know, you, you can try this on, you know, lower, lower uh, leveled accounts or, you know, just if your stats are all in between an end goal and stuff's not all clean and tidy, you can still kill this boss. So, yeah. I recommend you guys to bring a ring of wealth and a ring of dueling for teleportation also and uh, I usually teleport to the Forox Enclave to uh, heal my stats afterwards so where we're going is we're going to use the Rev Cave teleport which is going to take us here sorry <laughs> my bad we're going to be here and then we're going to run southeast this way to the Vetion Cave so when I go, you have to be wary of PKers, but but uh, for weapons, I usually have 1,500 charges for my chain mace. So around 500 um, hits is usually enough, you know, for four to five to six kills. But I only usually use around 300 per trip, so that's why it might differ for everybody. <clears throat> Um, the run here is usually pretty safe. Uh, you know, there's there are PKers, and you know there are times you're gonna die because like, it's just the whole you know risk, you know reward type of thing. And you know you're in the wild, and you know shit happens. You're gonna die sometimes, and that's just how it is. So you know, I'm just being honest because I do die. I do die myself on, on it, but. When I do have good enough loots, I'll usually leave. So this is the fight pattern of Vedion that you're seeing right now. Um, he shield bashes, which you need to run away from. And he will um, have these attacks here, these circles. So you need to stand two spaces away from them so they don't damage you. If you stand right on them and they hit you, it hits you for 20 to 30 damage. And if it hits... A square next to you it'll do damage so uh, you're gonna want to watch that and when you get Vetti on to half health he will summon these hellhound hounds you see me um, killing right now um, they're pretty quick to kill uh, you'll have to kill them to uh, do any more damage to him and after you kill the dogs he's going to shield bash you again um, it's not right away, but it's always usually after you kill the hounds, he'll shield bash you again, which is really the only annoying attack. And when you kill him, he will change like that and have a big, uh, I don't know how many tiles attack it is, but when you do kill his first form, you should run away. So when you're shield, when he shield bashes, if you run under him and he hits you, 
Like, he will still hit you if you run under him. So you have to run to the sides of him or away from him. So usually I just, you know, attack, run away, attack. And when you're doing your clicks, you're going to want to prioritize clicking away from him and saving yourself from damage instead of trying to get an extra hit in. Um, see, I just got hit there for a 30 from a shield bash, and you can't attack him for a few seconds after you get hit. So, like... I have had runs where I've, I've been flawless, but, you know, certain runs you just get lazy or you lag and, you know, you get hit, you get hit. But, uh, you know, the more you play, the more you're, the more better you're going to be at it. So, but uh, with this boss, there's lots of really good drops. So, you know, there's the blade, the Void Waker Blade, which is worth, you know, decent money. Not as much as it was when it first came out, but it's still decent money. And the drop rates are pretty great, so you know I'm I'm just doing it for a quick money maker for my account. You know I just like trying to get those high ticket items. Um, I've been pretty lucky on the uh, drop rate, so I think within like 280 kills, I've gotten three god rings, a blade. I haven't gotten a pickaxe, but uh, yeah, I've gotten mostly all the drops and like under 300 KC, so. It's pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, you should go and enjoy this uh, wild wilderness boss and uh, try to make some profit or complete a Void Waker. So anyways, guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a great one. Bye-bye. Peace.